What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We got the 88 plus and the 92 plus reroll odds. We're also going to go through and I'm kind of give my verdict on which one I think is better. And if you should be doing these rerolls at all, let's not waste any time. Hop right into it. First up though, we got to go through kind of the cheapest way to do these rerolls. And while well, I did put out a video kind of how to turn coins into candy, training into candy, training assets into candy, the cheapest way to turn coins into candy is in 92 overalls at 25k, which is basically five per. That is the cheapest way to do these rerolls is by using candy five per a 92 overall. But starting off with the 88 plus reroll, this is over 500, a 500 pull sample size from Grant the Goat on Twitter. I'll link his Twitter in the description. Give him a follow if you want more kind of detailed information on odds, pulls, and all that sort of thing. But the 88 plus, we're going to be starting out in the background, of course. You're going to see a bunch of 88 plus re-roll pulls. Starting though with the 88 overall, it's going to be coming out of the pack at about a 39%, which for the lowest overalls, not the highest. Usually you see over a 50% kind of odds for the lowest overall, but 39%, 10,080 candy. So you will be losing about 2,500, 2,600 candy on an 88 pull and 88 plus. 90 overall, you're still going to be losing a little bit of training or training candy at 2,500 candy. 25.8%, so basically one every four packs, you'll be pulling a 90 overall Sugar Rush player. 92 overall now, this is kind of where you get into the profit zone in the 88 plus reroll for candy at least. It'll be at least, what, 2,000, what is it, like 2,100, 1,800, I don't really know. 92 overall though, 17.9%, so pretty solid, at least for the lowest overall card to be getting a profit in the reroll. 94 overall, 9,500 candy, so you're really like tripling up on your candy. 9.4%, so about 10%, which honestly, for a 94 overall, which you're tripling the value of the candy you put in, is not the worst, 10%. You're gonna see the odds in, these video, in this video overall wise are not bad at all 96 overall 6.5% 18,500 candy I don't think that's the worst I've seen a lot worse for kind of the highest the highest overall you can pull minus an LTD in the 88 plus reroll so that is not too bad and finally by the way in the 88 plus rules I think I got 196 here at the end DK Metcalf but that's about it there he is right there but Jalen Ramsey it's beat 1.1% this is over 500 right 88 plus roll so 1.1% for a 99 overall either Jalen Ramsey or Lamar Jackson it is very low, but Jalen Ramsey and Lamar Jackson do go for over 500k, so I will say they definitely are not flying out of the rerolls like the free agent LTDs did, but they are definitely not like impossible to pull, although they are very, are very difficult. Moving on now to the 92 plus reroll, you have two options again, 7,100 candy or 17,000 training. And actually the ratio on the 92 plus, I think I, I might've mentioned already, but the 92 plus ratio in terms of train the candy is worse than the 88 plus. It's like 2.4 in comparison to 2.1, which is the 88 plus, but hopping right into it, you can only pull four overalls, three being those of candy and 92 overall. Quick sells for 5,000 candy. You are gonna be losing 2,100 candy if you pull 92 overall and the 92 plus. 69% which is more kind of like these rerolls are where the lower overall is going to be majority of the pulls you do get but 69% is quite a lot for the lowest overall now moving on to the 94 21% so about one in five pulls you're going to get a 94 overall and you will profit candy wise if you just quick sell for what about 2400 candy which is not the worst 94 overall as you can see by the way I did pull a Jalen Ramsey this morning I pretty much in this 92 plus sugar sugar rush pack opening, I'd say, or in the background, I pulled all 92s and 199. And by the way, this sample size is is strictly from me. I did about 192 plus rerolls, so the sample size isn't huge, but I think it's big enough to terms of make a video on it. 96 overall, by the way, 10%, one in 10 times, not actually the worst for the highest overall non-LTD card. And then a 99 overall is going to be less than 1%, or probably it's around 1%. I just didn't want to put one percent on there because i was the only one that pulled it in 100 rolls but there's Jalen ramsey there's lamar jackson those are the odds you can take them for what you want right they're just numbers i'm just the middleman let's move on now to kind of my final verdict so what do i think of the rules which one is better 88 plus or 92 plus well overall wise i think they're basically identical uh, I'll get into why I don't love these rerolls though, and there's a different reason for that, but actually getting into kind of the price of which one you should pull for training, only training, you should actually only pull the 88 plus because the ratio, and I'll kind of throw up it on the screen right about now, there it is, basically, it, it makes no sense why the ratio is different from like training to candy on the 88 plus and the 92 plus, it is more expensive to pull the 92 plus in terms of a ratio in terms of training to candy, 
I know it's very confusing, but for some reason, the ratio is not the same, so it's actually better in terms of training to open the 88 plus while the 92 plus for candy is basically, it's gonna be the same thing. But if you have training, I'd say the, the numbers tell you to open up the 88 plus, well, EA basically tells you to open up the 88 plus, maybe they're hiding something about the 92 plus being better. But in terms of my verdict of if you guys should do these rerolls, and I'm gonna say no, but there's a reason for that. Now, overall wise, okay, I opened 192 plus rerolls and I actually gained candy, a small amount of candy, and then I pulled a 99 LTD. However, the issue I have with this reroll, and there's usually like, I don't know how to really explain this. The only reason or the only way you are profiting from this reroll, right? The only goal, the end goal for this reroll, the 88 plus or 92 plus is the LTD. You're simply quick selling the 92, the 94, the 96. You're quick selling every overall until you pull an LTD. So if you literally go and don't pull an LTD, you will lose coins. It's that simple. If you pull an LTD, congrats, you're going to make coins. However, these LTDs are very, very hard to pull. So it's like if you aren't doing a huge batch of candy or training rerolls, you're probably just dumping coins, right? Like I like the free agency rerolls because I could turn those 96 free agents or 95 free agents into the champion sets, right? And kind of turn that into coins, at least get back some just straight up coin profit when I do pull a 95 overall in the free agent roll. However, in the 96 roll, unless the champion set like isn't good in terms of getting candy and value back. So you're pretty much just quick selling, the, especially in the 92 plus, I'm going to talk more about that. You're going to be quick selling the 92, 94, 96, where eventually you're going to lose on the candy. And then you're just waiting for a 99 LTD, which I just don't think is a, you always want to have like multiple uses of each overall in the reroll. And for this roll, it's just your quick sell, quick sell, quick sell, pull the LTD. That's just not, it's not profitable in the long run. You're just solely relying on the LTD to give you your profit. I just don't like that. I don't like that. So that's kind of my verdict in the reroll. I would say stick to Easter eggs in terms of candy, like to use candy, do Easter eggs. You can try the reroll. Maybe next week, the odds are a little bit better in terms of LTD pulls. But for right now, I would kind of stay away from both reroll's. Although they are not terrible in terms of just like losing training. You're not gonna lose a lot of training if you do them in a long period of time. You just might be sitting there for a few hours until you pull your first LTD. That's all for this video though. Comment if you have any questions, like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new. And until next time, peace.